Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's Nightcap, I've got quite a lot of machine going on. I finished off the taper uh, on the R8 Arbor, so I can mount that nice new chuck into the mill machine. I show quite a bit of that. I do a machining job for a customer at work, just a, a simple a simple component with my friends on. Uh, quite interesting, I'll show some of that. My son Alan comes and he does the draw for the set of taps, 12 by 175 taps for this week's draw. Hi, my name is Alan, John Sun. Welcome to tonight's draw. Uh, the lucky winner is... David Doyle, who's won three taps. Congratulations. Is it the camera? Right, Alan that was great, thanks for that. All you've got to do, send me an email with the address on and I'll get the taps posted up to you. Anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I'm going to do another draw tonight. As I say, I'm going to keep on doing draws. Tonight's draw is going to be for the set of drills that I got from Banggood. Uh, I'll replace the 5mm one that I've destroyed, but the rest are all perfectly usable. Once again, if you want a chance at winning the box of drills, all you have to do is send me an email. That's me email up there with your name in like John Mills not just John your name goes into the bucket if it's drawn out I'll gladly post them off anywhere in the world completely free of charge just as a, a way of thanking everybody for all the support I've had with this YouTube channel two or three weeks ago I was away with Richard uh, with a central steam wagon in a railway museum um, I managed to get a ride on a footplate of one or two of the, the steam locos I'll edit some of that and I'll put some bits of that in towards the end Right, I've tried it in with some Martin Blue on and you can see it's it's got a decent contact but not all the way down so what we want is a little bit taken off that centre section there It doesn't take much for the tape as have been from a, a, a good fit to be too slack. Touch and walk and blow. Getting better. For real now, make sure it's nice and clean and dry in there. And the only thing, if the tool is the same as the, the fit of the taper, there's no glue or anything goes in there. And that it wants to stay in there, that. Right, we'll mount it and give it a, a try and see what happens. I 
I've had this before with tight fitting, tight fitting Aurea stuff. couple of tenths bigger, it should go in. Right, that's the chuck running there now. And it's got two thou, two and a half thou. It's not bad, I would have expected, well, I would have expected zero actually. But it is a drill chuck, it's not a collet. So a two and a half thou and something that's going to be drilling holes is not, not that bad really. I've got a brass bush here or a bronze bush that needs to be bored out to 46 mil, it's actually 44.3 at the minute and the length needs to be 37 and it's about 42 so when you set it running, turn the forge or chuck, face it off and then bore it out I've got it set up roughly where you can see it's running out quite a bit I'll give it a chance to clear this stand or this mount. I've got a nice big clock gauge here, I've got a bob. I'm sure you can see that one a lot better. You can see we've got quite a lot of run out. So, what we'll do, we'll find the highest point, which is that one. That means it wants to go across that way. So if we loosen off the opposite jaw a little bit, tighten that one up. Once again we'll find the high jaw, which is that one. So we'll tighten that a little bit. High one again, which is that one. Be careful that you don't crush it because it is a quite soft high one, which is basically that one. So, if we we'll loosen this one a little bit, Somewhere in the other end now. Just give each one a little nip. It's actually not a very good outer finish on it, but it's the right size to fit into the the arm it's got to go into. I think that's not bad. Right, 
Okay, just do the same, we'll just take it. It's actually brass. It's not bronze, you can tell the way it's machine, it's a brass board. It's one of the large supplies, so that's what we're going to use. Set the, the boring board to centre height. It was good at that. There's a couple of mil to take out, so I'll take a decent cut at first just to clean it up. Just touch it off. Put a half mil cut on. That's absolutely terrible. I'll try and get a better finish before we do anything at all. As long as you've got a spare screw for these two rollers, you'll never drop the screw. Once you haven't got a spare screw, you'll drop it and you'll never find the bastard again. Right, give that a try. Looks better. I'm going to screw the feed rate down a little bit. That's decent. You don't actually want it too good a finish because it, it does need to hold some grease. I'm actually going to put a grease swirl into there once it's out the size. The finish size needs to be 46. We're now at 40, 45.8. So we're getting very near. There's some, some proper measuring gear on there once in a at least some of this a bit whiter in it. Right, so uh, I'm really very near. I put it through again on the same setting and that should bring it on the 46. Right, it's very near there now. I'll put it through on the same setting and that should bring it out to 46 mil well dead. Okay, so that's just this for it. That's a, it's a very stiff ball and ball, but it's still taking a very, very light cut, like a spring cut. Right, that should be it. Say that, but bang on 46 mil.
I need to put a, a groove in for the grease, like a helical groove. What I've done, I've set a, a one mil cut on here. I've got the lathe running really slow. I'm just going to put it through by hand once and just cut it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch and see. Right, that's basically cut a real sharp, a real coarse thread. You see it there, and that's going to be sufficient to hold the grease. Okay, the length is as for 33. I don't think it's that critical. We've got 36.7, so we want 3.7 mil off that. Just touch it off. Again, because I forgot. Thirty-six point seven C. So I want three point seven. Horrible stuff. Right, we've got thirty-three point zero eight. I'm sure that will do. Right, now look. Go for that. 